Hi, I'm Becky Buttons with ButtonMakers.net and this is a segment I am calling Watch Me Work. I get customers who call and write in with specific design problems uh, and I have been designing buttons for a very long time. So I decided I would go ahead and screencast some solutions to some of these problems. Um, so I'm gonna get started here. I have a customer who wrote in and she says, hi Becky, I need help again. I am trying to make these two buttons for my friend, but because the text doesn't do this on your site, I am trying to do it on another app. But when I try to put it back on the site, it doesn't come out right. Can you please see if you can redo them for me? I just need these two designs and the one and a quarter inch button size. So what she's doing is she's using a different app to make the design. And then she's using designer.buttonmakers.net just to lay out her pages for production, which is a totally legitimate thing to do. However, I'm looking at her design and I think that our design tool probably could do this. It actually it has a lot of options and is pretty powerful, though it may not be the most user-friendly, intuitive thing you've ever tried. You can, it does have a lot of capabilities. So I think I can probably get close to what she wants just using the design tool. However, it's again, like if you want to use a different app to make your designs and then just use designer.buttonmakers.net to lay out your pages for print, that's totally, you can totally do that. Um, we do host this design tool for free and uh, we just can only do that because we're in business. So if you buy your supplies and machines from us, We'll continue to host uh, this design tool and as many free resources as we can. So just keep that in mind, please. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna download these files that she sent me, these images she sent me, and log into the Button Makers design tool located again at designer.buttonmakers.net. Okay, we are logged in to designer.buttonmakers.net and I am going to go ahead and the very first thing that you need to do when you log in here is click on the size that you are uh, needing to do. And in this case, it's one and a quarter. So it default always to seven eighths inch, which is not the right size for almost anyone. So you wanna go ahead and click on the size first. Um, that's very important. And because she's got her graphics all done, I'm gonna just turn off all of the layers that we don't need using these green buttons at the bottom. And then I'm going to click upload image, upload image. And let's start with this one. All right, so you can click on it and move it around. This very first line in here, this really faint gray line, that's kind of the safe zone. Anything you wanna actually show up on your button should be within that line. Now I'm going to click show all button paper so that I can see the bleed. That The bleed is the part of the button that um, wraps around into the back. And then just for funsies, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the red color here and like selects a color that actually, you know what, because her background is black. Let's go ahead and just select black to keep it consistent. Um, that's pretty close. So now I'm nudging it with the arrow keys on my keyboard just to get it perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, if I, um, I can size this down, you know, like maybe she wants a little bit of this border to show up on the face of the button. It's not really clear. Um, so I might, I might do that. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, actually first I'm going to, so she is using a different design tool because of this text here. So just really quick, I'm going to see if I can get, um, some text that's actually kind of close. So I'm going to turn on, this is kind of rounded. So I'm going to use rounded text top, and then I'm going to select a relatively close font. My camera's shaking. Okay, and now I'm going to change the color from black to like a really pale green, maybe a more of a pale yellow. Um, maybe it's green, maybe it's white. I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm back, okay. <laughs> All right, so now, Let's see, we want the circle size to be a little smaller. We're gonna change the type to say what the customer type says. 
okay you know i mean it's not it's not exactly the same as what the customer has here but it's pretty dang close that's all so she's already got text so i'm gonna turn that off i just wanted to see if my tool you know had the right <laughs> had the right stuff it almost does okay um so now this is kind this is laid out pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and click on uh save this button and i'm just gonna go ahead after the button is saved and move on to the next one click upload image um here's my next one and click on this background color and change the background color to something close that's probably close enough but if you really want you can um you can open up like uh photoshop or photo p or some program that will allow you to actually get the um the hex number for the color so you can match it exactly though this is probably going to be close enough um i'm gonna just go ahead and go into photo p really quick and see if i can't get the actual color Um, Photo P is an excellent program that is almost exactly like Photoshop. So I'm going to open up the file here and then get this color with the color picker. And then here's the hex number right here. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard and then come back to the button makers design tool and paste that number here. Boom. <laughs> Um, all right, so now um, this looks pretty perfect also, um, but I might actually want to make it a tiny bit smaller just so that green border shows up a little bit on the face of my button rather than just having it be white to the edge and then green on the sides. So I'm going to size it down a little bit here and then I'm going to click save and load, save this button, yes. Now we're going to go on to print your buttons. We are going to uh, make a print sheet with different designs and just drag this in here a few times. This allows you to lay out a page with different, um, different designs uh, of the same size. Now I'm going to click make a print sheet and then I'm going to print it out. Now, when you print out stuff from this design tool, you always, always, always wanna make sure that it's scaled to 100%. If it's scaled to any other number, your buttons will be the wrong size. 100% always. Okay, print, and let's make some buttons. today. Thanks so much for watching me work. If you have a button related question, feel free to post it in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. Happy button making!